Now don't be put off by the masking, it can be done really quick and easy by using Wagner's masking kit. I'm going to start off by covering up the carpet area with the dust sheet, then I'm going to use my masking kit to mask up the skirting boards, the radiators, the windows, the lights, the switches and sockets. So what we do, we place the top of the masking tape right on the top of the skirting board, drag that along and start to stick it down as we go. You'll see the polythene's got a static effect, it starts to cling to the surface of the skirting board. Now next up, I want to mask the windows. Now you can get different size rolls depending on how big your window is. I'm going to use the larger one because I not only want to cover the window, but I'm going to cover the sill as well. Start to peel the plastic out, and again you'll see it's got the static effect, so it'll grab to the surface below. Then using your masking tape, mask up the edges. Now the radiators are a little bit different, so what we need to do is get the masking tape and tape up along the back edge of the radiator, drape it down, cut off the sides and then tape it up. Now any pipes or thermostats that are visible, they're also going to need covering up using your masking tape. Now masking the door up, it's always wise to mask the frame at the same time, especially if you're painting the walls and ceilings above it. I'm going to start off using the large masking roll, then get the standard masking tape and cut in the corners of the frame where it needs to plaster away. That's the masking preparation all complete, and it only took me about 45 minutes to do this room. 